Hey, what's up guys? Joe here with Vision Network and uh, glad to be back. I took a little hiatus from making videos. Uh, the main reason why is I didn't have the right camera. So as you can see right now, I'm shooting this video on the old Sanyo uh, little 480p camera that I had. I found a while back. I found it in a drawer, cleaning one day, and forgot that I even had it. So anyway, I made a few couch vlogs with it. I like the easy, you know, setup. I just, you know, put it on the tripod and begin recording, and it's really simple. You know, not much setup required at all. But as I got to making videos with it, I realized, you know, the the quality just wasn't there. It's terrible quality, and if you guys know me, you know that I'm very particular and always preach about good video quality, good sound quality, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And so I really hated making videos like that, but it was just so much easier and quicker to do videos this way. And so today, I have great news. I bought a new camera, the one that I've really been wanting. I've actually been wanting it for months now. And I sold some stuff at the auction last week. I picked up the check today, and it was enough to buy this camera. And when I got to Walmart, where I got it at, it was actually marked down uh, even even lower so that was really great so I think I was destined to have this camera I waited patiently until the timing was right and I got the camera so what I'm going to be doing here today is I'm going to be doing an unboxing for you guys and what's really exciting for me about unboxing is I don't actually have very many opportunities to do unboxings because I don't get new stuff very often and so this is going to be a really cool unboxing for me I'm not, I know I'm not the first person to get this camera or unbox it. There's probably zillions of them on the internet, but this one is mine. And I'm really anxious to show you guys and share this with you. I haven't touched the box at all, so this is going to be a fresh unboxing from start to finish. I'll show you uh, what's in the box, how it came, tell you a little bit about the camera and why I chose this one. So if you'll wait just a moment, I'm going to reset the camera. Uh, so that you can see uh, the stuff that I have, you know, that when I get it laid out on the table and everything so you can see it better. So stay tuned and I'll see you right back here in just a moment. Okay guys, welcome back. Uh, so the moment you've all been waiting for, or at least the moment that I've been waiting for, here is the box. It is the uh, Canon Vixia HFR500 camcorder. This came in a bundle. It comes with a Canon shoulder bag, a 16 gigabyte Class 10 SDHC memory card, uh, the Vixia HFR series instructional DVD, and a quick start guide. So I'll hold it up to the camera so you guys can see the labeling there. All right, so let's go ahead and open this sucker up. Been waiting a long time for this. It's like Christmas. This is going to allow me to shoot much, much better videos for you guys, and so I'm looking really forward to doing a lot more couch vlogs and green screen videos. So what we have here is uh, we got the little quick start guide. I hate filming this ca this video on this camera because I know it's the quality is terrible, but we're gonna do the best we can. Uh, so here's the uh, the DVD, Canon Vixia HFR52, HR50, and HR500 instructional video. And I'll tell you a little bit about the other two cameras uh, and the diff the main differences in those. Here is the uh, the box with the camera in it and the the shoulder bag and the uh, SD card and just an empty empty bag there I guess for safe wrapping or something so uh, so anyway let me uh, I'm gonna adjust the camera just a little bit more guys okay Get this puppy out of the box. It's a warranty card. 
this is the or the register registration card and a little uh, booklet I'm trying to go through this quickly I don't want to make a really long video so I'm gonna go ahead and get everything out of the box and lay it out on the table That's everything in the box. We'll set that there. May have to read some stuff off of it. So we got the shoulder bag here. Set that over there. Get the paperwork and stuff over there. Out of the way. So there's the SD card. So it comes with a uh, micro USB cable. Here's the battery pack. Comes with uh, an HDMI. Yeah, that's a yeah. It's an HDMI cord. Looks like it's probably about four feet long, and uh, the power cord. And the power cord does not detach from the AC adapter, and it flips out for easy storage. Okay, so you're probably wondering why I chose this camera, and you're probably wondering how much I paid for it. Here's the camera itself. It is really small and compact, but it feels good in the hand. It's got a zoom in and out button on the top there. The uh, LCD screen flips out and rotates over so that when you have it on a tripod, you can see yourself or what you're filming on the screen. And it also uh, tilts as well. All the controls, it's a touch screen camera. So all the controls are either on the screen itself or you have the on and off, the uh, instant play button, you got an HDMI port, US, uh, micro USB port, AV out, and a microphone in. And that is the main reason why I chose this camera. It's got a microphone in so that you can hook up an external microphone to it. I looked at a lot of cameras in the price range and none of them had a microphone uh, jack or microphone port on it anywhere. That's the main reason why I chose this camera. It's also got a, a lens cover that flips op open and shut there to protect the lens. SD card, there's a little door right here and you flip that open and then you can take, you know, pop in the uh, card there. And it goes in at an angle and I believe that the reason that it goes in at an angle is to keep the overall width or thickness of the camera kind of thin. This camera retails for $199.99 and I got it today for a markdown price of $189.99 so it was actually $10 cheaper than what I had been anticipating uh, paying. Now I, I had some miscellaneous electronics and things like that laying around my house that I wasn't using. Some of it didn't even work. I had a small, I had a, like some headsets and various different things like that and I took it to my local auction and sold it last week for an, and it brought enough money to buy this camera so that's why I'm really happy about it I didn't have to pull money out of my pocket to buy this I'm gonna go ahead and attach the battery to it it's probably not charged but if it is then I will attempt to power it on there it goes there's a little button here you have to press okay let's see if it'll power on oh it did it came on as soon as I opened up the uh, the screen it says charge the battery pack so <laughs> it just went off so it didn't have enough power um, you charge it by the battery pack has to be attached to the camera and then you plug it in and charge it that way another reason why I got this camera is that the other models that are above it which are the uh, the HFR52 and the HRF the HFR50 is because they have onboard memory um, and Wi-Fi and they charge you you know like a hundred uh, I think a hundred dollars more for the next one up and I think about thirty five dollars more for the one above that um, but this one you know it has it has room for the card and it also came in a bundle with the card and and all I plan to do anyway is take the card out of the camera plug it into my computer and do my editing that way um, I don't need Wi-Fi on a camera. I have no plans to upload 
uh, video directly from the camera plus I watched a review video on it and the guy said the the Wi-Fi and the the, the uh, latency on the videos w wasn't just that impressive and so I, I think this camera is going to be perfect for me if you're looking to do vlogging or personal videos either outdoors or indoors um, do a green screen or a video such as the one that I'm doing right now this is the type of camera that you need this uh, battery pack will last about two hours which will allow you to do you know video until you run out of memory a DSLR camera is only going to allow you to do like 29 minutes of video I think a camcorder is the best thing I could have gotten like a little bitty vlogging camera but then again you can't hook up a microphone and HDMI with HDMI you can hook up an external monitor to this I watched a video the other day where a guy had this all decked out with um, he had it up on a tripod and all these attachments big boom microphone screen uh, light and all kinds of stuff it looked like a really professional setup um, and he said he got it all put together for about a thousand dollars and it performed just like you know a, a professional quality camera I can't wait to get started filming with it let's see how long this cord is so that's that's about four feet long HDMI so you can hook it up to a monitor or hook it up to your television and you got your uh, let's see what this let's see what this is again I think this is the micro USB this is a micro USB cord here and the charger so yeah that's it so look, look forward to more of these couch vlogs. I really enjoy doing them. Uh, if I get anything new, again, I will certainly do another unboxing. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I am going to post another video later today uh, with this camera in action and show you guys the quality. My hope is, is that I won't have to worry so much about lighting downstairs. I have really bad lighting down there. And that's uh, another problem that I've had in the past with with doing uh, videos down there, especially with the camera that I'm using at this moment. And so I'm really looking forward to trying it out. I think the lighting is going to be much better. They say this, this camera performs well in low light conditions. When it comes to camera and video, you definitely get what you pay for. If you buy a cheap camera, then you won't get all of the features that, you're, that you need. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'm Joe with Vision Network, and we will see you guys later. Take care.